But um, yeah, so let's talk about growth and reproduction. And this is the one that I don't like because now I have to show you pictures of me growing. No, don't start with the ahs yet. It's not cute or any of those things that you guys are thinking. Yeah. Okay, stop. <laughs> stop it right now. These are the rules before we go into growth and development. Number one, number one, no ahs. Number two, no, oh, it's so cute. That word cute is not allowed in my class. <laughs> All right? <laughs> You're going to be like, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's. Woo! <laughs> 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 it's getting kind of hot in here. I'm like beginning to sweat and all. All right, so let's talk about growth and reproduction. Growth, growth and reproduction? I should say growth and development. <laughs> we already dealt with reproduction. Just act as if it says growth and development, and I'll change that later on. Okay? Growth and development. Right, um, put a line through that reproduction stuff. We already been there. We spoke about the kids and kids and more kids. So now we'll move on to growth and development. What is growth? Growth is a gradual increase in size over time. Okay? You used to be small. Now you're a little bigger than you were. And hopefully in a few years you might be a little bigger. Who knows? All right? So that's growth. Gradual increase in size over time. It results in more living material and forms new structures. So organisms grow and also organisms develop. Development, we're talking about all of the changes that take place during the life of an organism. Okay? Teenagers grow and um, for guys sometimes your voice gets lower and so on. That's development. Okay? You growing, I mean, you, you getting taller is growth. Voice growing, uh, growing deeper, wow. Voice getting deeper, that is <laughs> development. All right? Okay. Whew. All right, so we're going to go to the pictures now. Okay, the first picture. Let's just skip this part and go to. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> you might not learn. And we don't want that. <laughs> Mr. Big says that uh, we have to go through the pictures. So I'm going to swallow my pride. Remember, what are the rules? No. I know. OK. I'm counting on you guys. Remember, you're being recorded. The rest of the world will hear what you say. <laughs> OK, let's go. This is me at the age of, oh, wait, one more. No laughing. No, no laughing. You, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's get all the laughs out right now. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to show the picture of me at the age of four or five. Now, this is what I have a problem with. Let me tell you what I have a problem with. OK, you know, when you grow up, you're going to be parents. And you're going to have kids, most likely. you know, And you're going to take pictures of your kids. If you have a boy, do not, I don't think you can see it clearly, do not give him a little pink doll <laughs> and have him take a picture of him. I mean, don't take a picture of him. That's just wrong. That, I mean, come on. What, what? Okay, okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Four or five, somewhere around there. Okay, so the next one is at the age of 12. I look the same, don't I? Just like bigger. A little different. You can see, oh, I should have showed the picture when I had like a flat top. That would have been awesome. Yeah. All right, and then this is Mr. Samuel at the age of 25, I think. 25 or 24? I look like P. Diddy? Yeah. Wow. Only picture you took after 12 years old. Yeah, that's the only one. <laughs> All right, so here I was 5, there I was 12, and there I'm 25. So obviously, was there growth and development? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> there was some growth. There was some development so far. I think I am uh, an organism. Adjusting to the environment. Oh, I had to ask, what was the next one? And then you guys would have said? Adju Adjusting to the environment. Adjust to environment. Sweet. All right. Uh, living things are able to adjust to their environment. Okay, uh, the environment, when we say the environment, we mean the surroundings of the organism. For example, air, weather, temperature, other organisms, and so many other factors that are out there. Okay, so living things adjust to environment. Uh, let's talk a little more about that. A stimulus, when we're talking about responsing to, uh, responses to the environment, a stimulus is any condition that requires a response, and a response is a reaction to a stimulus. And then we have a term that you've probably heard before, and maybe you know the definition of it, but we need to look at that again. Homeostasis means ma maintaining conditions that are suitable for survival, and this is something that takes energy. Now, I am sorry to disappoint you, but I don't have any more pictures of Mr. Samuel showing these things, but a good thing here would be to show, okay, I lived, where did I grow up? St. Martin. Martin, sweet. Then I moved to Michigan. Is St. Martin hot or cold? Hot. hot. It's pretty hot there in many ways, like it's hot temperature and it's just hot. Um, uh, Michigan, is that hot or cold? Well, it depends on what you're talking about, right? In the summer, it can be hot. In the winter, it can be very, very cold. Okay, so I moved from St. Martin. I came to Michigan. Uh, what happened on, in the inside, on the inside of me? Did, did the inside get cold when it get cold? No, right? Because what would happen if that happened? I would die. Am I dead? <laughs> Depends on how you look at it, right? I'm still alive, so obviously I've been able to adjust to the environment, and I am still alive. Okay, so we had organization, then we had reproduction, then? Okay, we're dying off, so we got to do something. Number one was what? Organization. Two? Three? Four? And number five? Adapt and evolve. So let's talk about that. Living things adapt and evolve. Um, what is an adaptation? An adaptation is any structure, behavior, or internal process that enables an organism to respond to stimuli better and better survive in an environment. Okay, so you're adjusting to the environment. Well, you're, um, uh, pr you're having a response or a, a structure or a behavior that allows you to better survive in an environment. And what is evolution? Evolution is a gradual accumulation of adaptations over time. That sounds like a complex um, description, doesn't it? There's a very easy description that you can remember, and that is change over time. So if I ask you for the definition of evolution, you can give me any one of these. If you give me the first one, I'll smile and be impressed. If you give me the second, uh, I might just smile. I mightn't be as impressed, but you'll still get full credit. Okay, so change over time is evolution. All right, now let's see if you are paying attention. We're going to have a little recap quiz. Question number one, what is biology? biology. Study of life. Question number two, what is an organism? Living thing, right? All living things are organisms. What are the five characteristics? <laughs> you guys are probably sick of this by now. Number one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, sweet. Remember, if you wake up in a cold sweat thinking reproduction, organization, well, organization, reproduction, or anything of that sort, let me know. It'll make me feel really good about myself. And what is a stimulus? Okay, anything that uh, causes a response. And what is homeostasis? <laughs> oh, you guys are very good readers. In other words, a really easy way of uh, saying homeostasis is maintaining a balance. 